So one other thing that's really cool about this unit is the dual fuel ready. So we can hook it up to propane and get the fire started with propane. And then it'll kick in the wood so it's got an automatic fire starter essentially. It's, it's big, isn't it? It is. You don't realize how big it is until... Yeah, we've been on the hunt for one and uh, we found this one in, where was it? West Virginia? Para Alta, West Virginia. <laughs> the guy was getting rid of it. Do it. I think he was downsizing things smaller. And uh, this one is identical to the first one that my parents had. So my dad had this one as I was growing up and it was a deal we couldn't refuse. We are stoked about it. Hi everyone. This is our video on installing our outdoor wood furnace. Uh, it's a central wood boiler. And yeah, it's been a long time coming, a couple months in the works. And we've finally got all the pieces together and it is functioning and heating the home as we speak. So without further ado, here we go. Looking, you can open up your door and you can find your dimensions for the cement foundation and base. So we're actually going to go a little bit bigger than what they what they recommend, but it, it'll be okay. So here it says it needs to be six feet by a little over five feet, but we're going to do an eight by eight. gravel from a gravel pile, fill it in here, I'll build a form. I have a concrete pad that's you know maybe two inches above grade. While Levi's doing that, I'm gonna start chores. Um he's gonna dig out the base for the concrete pad, like he mentioned, and then uh we'll start digging the line into the house and then I'll hop in and help him out. about where I want it. We go down and get some gravel. I'm gonna put some gravel in here and then I'll build my form. We'll get everything leveled out and ready for concrete. Thank you. 
I guess we see if that pipe will fit through there. Okay. It ought to be close. Yeah. <laughs> Harper, are we having some trouble getting the pipe into the house? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You do it more towards the middle, we can pull it over. Now we just wait for it to dry completely.
Hey guys, we're down here in the basement. So we got the pipe coming in from the wood furnace. Uh, this is when everything's going and we can feel it. It's nice and warm to the touch. So I would say, I don't have a thermostat on there, but that's that's coming in real warm. This is coming in warm. This is our return right here. So we got a return there, return here. So the HVAC line comes in through the wall right here. Okay. It runs up and then over. This is a bleeder valve. So what that valve does, if you got any air in line, we can get it out with that valve right there. Comes over, uh, runs over top of the plumbing there, and then comes into these coils over here. Okay, so my coil is right here. What that does, it heats the coil and then comes from there and it heats that air up going up into here and shoots it across. All the way across the basement up into the air duct so we're heating with the wood furnace now with the oil as backup now we are also going to heat our water with it but we've just got it coming over here for right now we got it stubbed off at the moment because they ran out of time to get it hooked up here but that that's the plan is they're going to be a water to water heat exchanger right here um so it'll go right in right in this area and it'll actually heat the water coming into the water heater so the electric won't be running on the water heater so we're actually going to be saving money on the electric there plus the no heating oil here um we are very very excited about this process so there's a tiny lapse in filming from when the unit is set and then this next video where Levi and Eli are filling it up. We had the electricians come out and they hooked up all the electrical parts to the furnace and into the house. So this next video is our very first time seeing it run and making sure there are no leaks, no issues, that it's holding heat and doing all the things that it needs to do. Um, and this was a really exciting moment. show y'all what it looks like in the daylight like I said everything's been hooked up it's been a couple days now that we've been using it and the electricians had come back and got to hook up the um, water heater as well so it's fully functioning the only thing we didn't do is we didn't run it to our separate unit that um, heats the upstairs so we're just gonna see how the how it does if heat rises and we don't need to run it upstairs then we won't so here it is we've got a bit of cleanup to do with all of the shale and dirt and stuff but we're gonna put a enclosure like over top of it half of it or part of it to help keep it out of the weather and keep the wood nice and dry and you can see we're at 176 degrees which is good out of the way of the smoke. <laughs> Levi filled it up this morning and it's going strong. You can see it's got a nice bed of coals and ashes in the bottom and it is, it's warm. <laughs> but that's it. And in the one video he was adding the extra pipe at the top and that just helps keep the smoke up and away from going right to our back porch and stuff. That's it. That's our central wood boiler install. So we just wanted to do a little wrap up and just talk about how pleased we are with 
this outdoor wood boiler it's we, we've seen a dramatic difference um already with how much the oil furnace is running and just having a, a good wood supply already intact that's been pretty awesome yep and there's been like no change in how hot the water is for showers and doing dishes and stuff like that which is important to me so <laughs> yeah absolutely and just to like kind of recap like i fill it up uh once in the morning and then i check it in the evening and it's usually pretty good so uh off one full load will last all day running the hvac system and the hot water so we'll keep you all posted on how much wood we burn and how much energy savings we get from this Already we know that we were spending $250 every other week for heat and fuel. Um, so th that's our automatically savings. $500 a month there, plus whatever bonus we get from the less electric from the water heater. So stay tuned and we'll keep you recapped on that. Yep. Thank you. All right. Till next time. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Harp. Bye-bye. See you later.